you know whenever you start uh, learning something it's it's nice to learn about what is what is biomimicry uh, what is not biomimicry and everything but at some point of time every one of you is going to say why biomimicry i sort of hinted about that in the introduction to biomimicry uh, but i was very very short it's 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 something that you know for me also when i started learning biomimicry at the end of two or three days i someone said why are you learning this and i didn't have an answer at that time but i thought i will get the answer as i started going deeper and deeper into the subject but i don't want you to take the trouble i want to introduce the topic of why biomimicry right away uh, the only request is uh, that each of you reflect on this and ask yourself what could be the reasons to learn biomimicry other than why why i think biomimicry is important right um apart from apart from the uh, emotion attached to learning anything new uh, nature is very very attractive to learn from apart from all that i think there is also some solid reasons as to why we must learn biomimicry especially if if we are not only in love with nature but we are also in love with the 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 environment how we can how we can hand over a, a safe world um, for our future generations etc with that context in mind i have some reasons as to why we are learning biomimicry um here are here are my reasons right so um as usual i think each of us will have some reason but here for me for me biomimicry is about these about uh, the first one being uh, we we can we can develop new products processes now you know i i don't want to just read that line but what is the import of that line the import of that line is that right now if i have if i can make paint then can i make paint in a different way can i make paint by looking at the lotus leaf if i if i if i make paint um, inspired by the technology of the lotus leaf i have a new paint right if i can if i can filter water using nature's technology i have a new process right so therefore we can develop the possibility of developing new products processes and symptoms uh, systems is why we learn biomimicry um the other thing is i don't know how many of you were struck by 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 the sentence learning from nature now that's a completely new perspective right it's a completely new perspective it, it changes everything that you have learned about 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 technology so learning it's it shifts your perspectives you start to look at new solutions the difficult problems are now there are the difficult problems are always going to be there but now you started to say how can i look at these problems in a different way and you will learn as we go along that biomimicry could be a solution for the for the uh, ecological pressure that we are in that the socio economic pressure that we are in we have to do something quickly uh, the united nations sustainable development goals are a way forward towards that every one of us who is concerned about the earth understands that the earth is going through a crisis that there must be something that we can do and there is no way in which we cannot try out certain new possibilities and biomimicry happens to be one of those possibilities uh the next one is my favorite which is called the transformative innovation now transformative innovation the meaning of transformative innovation is there in the word transformative which means change completely so transformative innovation is that innovation that that will transform the way we live right it cannot happen immediately it will not happen right away but we can start our journey towards that transformative innovation is is having processes and products that transform the way we live for instance right now i have an air conditioner at home uh, it's it's run you know the air conditioner has become more and more and more and efficient as we go along but at some point of time the efficiency of the air conditioner will will you you will not be able to increase the efficiency anymore while the air conditioner is still causing uh causing distress to the environment at that point of time can i look for something can i look for something to to so uh, this is my favorite which is transformative innovation and uh, what is transformative innovation transformative innovation is 
The word transformative holds the key to the meaning of transformative innovation. Um, transformative innovation is that which will which will transform the way we live. But the important thing to remember in transformative innovation is that it will not happen right away. It will not happen immediately. It will take some time to happen. But unless you start now, unless, for instance, let's assume that it will take about 40 years for us to build a, a, an air conditioner that mimics the termites uh, and their technology of how they build, how they regulate temperature in their mounds. Let us assume that this is what we want to do, that we understand that the termites do not have, do not harm the environment and all that. So all of us let us sit down and say, that's what we want to do, which means that we are going to completely transform the way we regulate temperature at home, which is going to be environmentally friendly and all that. But can it happen immediately? It cannot. Can we stop the present air conditioning system completely? We cannot. So transformative innovation is that innovation that will be required, will be, will be very important 30, 40, 50 years from now. At the same time, we cannot stop what we have right now. So a fine balance between what we have now and what we desire to have in the future is where transformative innovation comes in. So biomimicry, why biomimicry is because biomimicry will lead us to transformative innovation because it will help us to change the way we make things in a completely new way. And therefore the word transformative innovation and biomimicry, biomimicry because it will lead us to transformative innovation. Uh, I'm sure your, your eyes are already wandering to the next one, which is we need a mentor teacher. Um, this is something that that all of us know, but the minute we hear it, some of us are shocked, some of us are surprised. In my case, I was completely taken aback saying I did not even realize that that the nature that I'm learning from is actually 3.8 billion years old, that there is so much, so much of wisdom contained in that particular technology that nature is showing me. And therefore, when we look at our teachers in schools and colleges, we respect them because they are elder to us or because they have much more knowledge than us. Now, the question is, if we are looking at nature and learning from nature, is it, not, is it not right for us to be proud of learning from a teacher who is 3.8 billion years old and also the, put, put our trust in that teacher and say that teacher is wise and therefore it, it's a good thing that we are learning from them. Uh, finally, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to leave you with a question. Uh, it's always nice to leave each other with a question because, you know, questions will evoke curiosity, will help us find answers. The question is, do we have a choice.